Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about relative extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals x to the fourth power minus an x squared, and we're going to find all the points of relative minimum and maximum. Well, from here I need to first find the derivative. So I find f prime of x, and power rule comes down for x to the third power minus, well, just 2x here. So we have our first derivative right there, and to do the first derivative test, we need to find the critical points, so we need to set this equal to 0. So 4x to the third minus, oh, yeah, 2x. <laughs> we set that equal to 0, and we need to solve. Well, if I pull out a 2x here, I have 2x times a 2x squared minus 1 equals 0. From there, I'll set both parts equal to 0, 2x equals 0, and 2x squared minus 1 equals 0. Solving for x, divide both sides by 2 here, x just equals 0. Add a 1 to both sides, 2x squared equals 1, divide both sides by 2, x squared equals a 1 half, square root both sides, and we have x squared equals a plus or minus square root of one half, which simplifies to be plus or minus the square root of two over two. So we have our critical points, three of them, and we need to use our chart for the first derivative test. Okay, so I make my little first derivative test here. Lowest value is a negative square root of 2 over 2. We have 0 here, and then a square root of 2 over 2. So we're plugging values into our derivative here to see if they're positive or negative. A value that's less than negative square root 2 over 2 is a negative 1. So I picked f prime of negative 1, plugged it into my function, and I got a negative 2. I just care that it's negative, and therefore we're decreasing on that interval from negative infinity to negative square root 2 over 2. Between negative square root 2 over 2 and 0, I picked the value of a negative 1 half. So I found f prime of a negative 0 0.5, and that came out to be a positive 0 0.5. It's positive, that's what I care about, and we're increasing there. Now between 0 and square root 2 over 2, I picked a positive 1 half, so I have f prime of 0 0.5, and that came out to be a negative 0 0.5, that's a negative value, that's what I'm really looking for here, and we're decreasing. Now from square root 2 over 2 uh, to positive infinity, I just picked 1, so f prime of 1 here, and that came out to be a positive 2. It's positive, so we're increasing on that interval. So what does this tell us? Well, we're going from decreasing to increasing, we have a relative minimum going on there. If we're going from increasing to decreasing, we have a relative maximum. And if we're going from decreasing to increasing, we have a relative minimum going on there. So we have our values where we're relative mins and maxes. Let's go find the coordinate points there. And so, <clears throat> uh, just double check my work. All right, we're good. <laughs> so we have a relative minimum. Our first x value was a negative square root of 2 over 2. And when I plug that into my original function, uh, I got a negative one-fourth. And then for the second value, a positive square root of 2 over 2 is the other relative minimum. Plug that into my original function, and I got a negative one-fourth as well. For the relative maximum, I plug 0 into my original function, and that comes out to be 0. And so our final answer here is we have a relative minimum at the coordinate point negative square root 2 over 2 comma negative 1 fourth and the other point of square root 2 over 2 comma negative 1 fourth and a relative maximum at 0 comma 0. I hope this video was helpful for you and if it was please subscribe to this YouTube channel like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.